Hi, it's Jessica from Chambray Blues. I'm back to show you the last couple of steps in the Daisy Days Throw Quilt by Cricut and Riley Blake. The quilt top is now complete. It has been quilted on each eight inch square. So it's just channel quilted. And if you turn it over on the back, you can see it's just simple, uh, straightforward quilting that's done on the regular machine. Now we're ready to trim the excess fabrics and add the last binding to the outside edge of the quilt. So as you can see, I have a lot of extra fabric here. And the reason it's so much is because as you quilt, it pushes the fabric one way or the other, depending on which way you're sewing, and you're gonna have a lot of excess at the edges. When I started, it was only about Four inches so there is a lot of stretch when you do a quilting project that's why you always want to have a good um, measure of extra fabric when you begin but it's time to trim that off I'm just using regular scissors for that just gonna cut it even with the outside of the frame don't need any pins. It should be stable after all that quilting, so you can get rid of any pins that you have in the quilt. Okay, so this is a scrap piece. You can use that for another project. All right, so my border is in this blueprint. These are three inch strips, which were cut with a rotary cutter. You can look at one of my other tutorials on how to do that. They have been sewed together with half inch seam uh, into long strips. Here we go, here's your seam. And as we sew, we're just gonna press that open with our fingers. You can do it with an iron if you prefer. So my method is to fold the strips in half and then stitch them down the length of the quilt. I'm gonna use a 2.4 stitch length on my machine. Now, and I have a walking foot on my machine, which will help with the thickness of the quilt. Machine. Keep your raw edges together. And I'm going to start with probably an inch and a half um, tail at the end of it so that I have some extra fabric there to work with if I need it. And I'm using a half inch seam allowance for this. You will need to back tack a little bit. up together make sure all three layers are straight it helps to have a hand behind the machine and one in front of it just to kind of pull things through and coax it along you will need lots of table space, so make sure you have a big table when you're doing this. Also, 
also want to wind a couple of bobbins before you start uh, your quilting projects. Have them on hand so that you can change them out if you run out of bobbin thread because it does use a lot of thread. Also, I'm using a size 16 quilting needle for this project. Now when I get to that seam, I'm just going to open that with my fingers and flatten those two seams out so it's not too bulky. So I just trimmed this even, and even as I'm working, you can see those layers have shifted again. So there's about an inch of extra fabric down here already that I'm going to need to trim off. But we're going to line all these layers up and sew right off the piece. I'm going to leave a little bit of a tail here also because when I come back to sew this side I want to have some extra fabric so that I can um, miter the corner. So the next step would be to trim this seam down to a quarter of an inch and then we're going to fold this piece of fabric over to that back seam line and that'll get hand stitched and I will have a video on how to do that next. So you're going to put this border on all four sides of your quilt and then leave a little tail at each corner. We're going to hand stitch those corners into place. So you can find more tutorials on my website chambrayblues.com and we will talk to you in the next video. Thanks! Bye!